Now, as you may have noticed, this is not Ray. In keeping with my all girls special, I've invited Jill along to have a look at a collectible with me. Thanks for coming in, Jill. Thank you for having me. Now you promised me something special. Yes, and I will not disappoint. Ta-da! Let me introduce to you Julie Newmar's Catwoman. Ms. Newmar was the first actress to portray Catwoman on TV in the fabulously camp 1966 Batman series. And personally, I think she's one of the best. But let's get to the statue. Presented by Tweeterhead, this statue is a very limited edition. She stands at 12 inches and was sculpted by the brilliant Trevor Grove, who also sculpted the 1960s era Batman and Robin, also for Tweeterhead. Now there's also an emerald edition. That particular piece can only be ordered through Tweeterhead's site. It comes with a green cubic zirconia, a numbered base and a certificate signed by Julie Newmar. But we have the beautiful diamond edition. And she is wonderful. The details in the costume are amazing. Mm. The subtle differences between her catsuit, boots and gloves give a wonderful texture to the piece. Also, the detailing on her necklace and belt are a lovely touch. The jewel itself is a Swarovski crystal and certainly glitters enough to catch a cat burglar's eye. The detail on her face and hair are a standout. The slightly upturned lips and demure eyes to me really shows the character of Numa's Catwoman. Sultry, sexy and teasing, but not over the top. No batting eyelashes or red lips here. And her hair has so much texture. It's wonderfully sculpted, isn't it? Mm. There's just so much movement in the hair that you could imagine it being caught up in the wind. With her eyes, I would like to point out that the detail on the liner and the eyelashes is fantastic. Paintmaster David Fisher really did a wonderful job capturing that classic Numa cat's eye. Catwoman leans back on a golden cat statue with a glinted jewel in her rather sharp clawed hand. According to Tweeterhead's Chad Colbank, the idea of the base comes from the golden cat statues that were in Catwoman's office. I really love the base. It's simple and elegant mm. and really gives a wonderful life to Catwoman. You can imagine her leaning against this ancient Egyptian artifact having just stolen the jewel <laughs> and waiting for Batman to appear. It doesn't overpower the scene. It gives it quite a stability to the piece. Yeah, and here's a fun fact. Julie Newmar herself was involved in the creation of the piece. Mm. She was sent progress photos throughout and was shown the wax sculpt to which she added her own notes. And I think the result speaks for itself. Anyone who's a fan of the 1966 Batman series or just of Catwoman would love to have this piece. It will make your wallet cry, but if you are a fan of the Princess of Plunder, you can't go past this sculpt. It's a buy from me. I agree. There's nothing here not to like. Tweeterhead have done a fantastic job of bringing Newmask Catwoman back to life, mm. and it would take pride of place on any collector's shelf. It's a buy from me too. Awesome. So are you glad you came along? Absolutely. I love looking at a classic sculpt. Perfect. That's the wrong Catwoman. I know. You have been hanging out with Ray far too long. <laughs> yeah.